Push notifications are a low energy way to send data from the server to your phone without the user having to run your application actively. Let's see how it works. This is the flow of push notifications in Firefox OS. First, your application registers itself with the operating system, which in return will give you a URL. Your server can ping this URL if there is new information available. You pass this URL to your server to store it along with user information. When you want to send a push notification, you do a put request to the URL the app gave you. The Mozilla push server knows from the URL which phone to wake up and how to reach it. The phone in its turn will wake up your app. Your app wakes up in the background and it can ask the server which information is available. As push notifications don't have a payload, your app asks the server what information to show. The app then shows a notification and goes back to sleep. This means that data for push notifications will not go through Mozilla servers. Let's look at how we register ourselves with the OS. This is a little application that we have with a register button that doesn't do anything yet. We register via navigator.push.register, which will give an object back. On this object we add a success event handler that will get called when we register successfully. In the success handler, we get the endpoint URL. Now we need to communicate this URL to our server. Our server has a route called register, which takes the URL and stores it in the database. To send the URL to the server, we make a post to register and pass in the URL as the payload. Now if you run this code, we can see that the server receives a URL at the Mozilla push server. To trigger a push notification, we'll need to make a put request to this URL. We already stored the URL in the database. And when you do a post to the trigger route, the server goes through all the registered URLs. To send push notifications, we will need to make put requests to each of these URLs. This code makes a put request. When the put request is made, the phone wakes up your app and triggers a special event. You can create an event listener for this event via the MOS set message handler by listening for the push event. Let's update the wrap in a simulator and start it again. We can now call the trigger route on our server to create a push notification. It works! The notification went from our server to Mozilla's server to the simulator and finally to our app, all in around a second. For push notifications your app doesn't have to be open, so let's adjust our code to show a notification instead of an alert and when we click the notification, we'll open up our application. Here we create a no new notification with got a notification from as title and the server as body. When we click on this notification, we'll open ourselves. This code is also available in MDN. Now we close all apps on the phone. Update the app, and we trigger a new push notification. When we trigger a new notification, the notification comes in, and when we click it, our app launches. Push notifications allow you to tell users about events without them having to keep your app open.